Hey guys, welcome one and all to another Final Fantasy Record Keeper video. I'm Didi Forte, and today I want to talk to you guys about the concept of mind and what it does besides offering your white mage a stronger heal. But first, if you if you end up liking the video, do consider hitting that like button. If you're interested in more daily Record Keeper content, do consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, now let's just go into it. Mind, a concept that pretty much only applies to white mages because um, yeah, it affects healing, right? The higher your mind is, the more potent your heal is. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but there are other uh, mechanics behind the mind stat and uh, the mind stat affects negative and positive effects, certain ones, certain negative and positive effects in a certain way in terms of longer duration or reduced duration. Okay, so let's go into it. So first we're going to take a look at stop, which has a default um, time of six seconds. That's about one turn. We're going to look at uh, the breakdown abilities as a reference point. Breakdown abilities last 15 seconds in game time. That's about two turns. So six seconds. Uh, that's about one turn, a little bit less. But the duration of stop and the, the, uh, and the abilities that I'm about to talk about can be adjusted depending on your mind stat. So if you're using it against the boss, or if you're using it, you get plus one second in on the duration of stop for every 50 mind. So let's just say uh, you have 100 mind, right? If you use stop, you'll add two seconds to it, making it eight seconds. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but when you're going in a dungeon and you have synergy and whatnot, where your mind easily goes to like uh, 400, that could make a difference, you know, it, about a turn and a half it it really could make a huge difference now if it's being used against you the duration is the same uh six seconds on the user and you lose one second on the effect of stop for every uh one mind or sorry every 50 mind stat that you have you lose one second on it in a previous video where uh, i was doing the ward of the four worlds event you remember that uh uh, Vilga uh, Garmada where he can stop your whole party. I mentioned in that video It's like oh well my guys have like 500 mind my double white mages have over 500 mind So stops gonna wear off right away, and I can heal up my whole party until um, The mind the or until the stop on my bruisers wear off so even though uh, Mind is pretty much useless on a bruiser having a little bit Never ever hurts, especially if it's against the uh, boss with debuffs. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is um, silence. Now, silence. Um, this ability is. I hate this ability. It it just completely destroys white mage. But anyways, so the duration on the silence is 20 seconds base. So that's like two and a half turns, a little bit over two turns, if. You don't uh, if you don't have any mind at all like zero mind which is pretty much impossible because every character has some default mind so uh, if you're using it you get plus one second for uh, every 40 mind and then if it's being used against you the silence will be reduced by one second for every 40 mind as well okay uh, so if you have a what if this gets casted on your white mage it's gonna suck but because you your white mage typically has the highest mind stat of your whole party it does get reduced faster but nonetheless it's still a very annoying debuff to deal with especially for your white mage okay let's go to the next debuff ability and that is blind the worst in my opinion the worst debuff in the game the base timer on blind is 60 seconds okay which is just insane. That's a minimum of four turns of blind. And then of course, plus one, pl uh, plus one second for every uh, 50 mind, and then minus one second for every 50 mind. Now, considering I do believe that, you know, bosses that can use mind, uh, I believe that they can have as much mind as they want. Like we don't actually know how long it la or how much mind that they actually have. Uh, so their their debuffs can especially in ultimate dungeons so their debuffs can last substantially longer than just four turns and considering if they block if like considering if uh they 
a blind your bruiser and your bruiser has no mind your bruiser could essentially be permanently blind the whole fight which is incredibly incredibly frustrating to deal with uh, so let's go on to the next ability uh, berserk now this one it's it's not so common um, you won't really encounter this there aren't any bosses I well okay that's probably there aren't that many bosses that are uh, vulnerable to uh, berserk uh, and then uh, bosses don't typically berserk your party either it's usually like a trash mob or something from like the ff5 dungeons that will do this but berserk last has 20 second base um which it's like two turns it's a little bit over two turns on like three turns uh and then uh it, you get plus one uh duration for every uh well what, i can't remember what it was um i think it's like 40 it's also 40 i'm pretty sure it's 40 and then you minus one second duration for every 42 for every 40 mine that is sorry um so berserk don't worry too much about it it's really blind and silence that you should worry about uh the next ability uh is sleep uh sleep has a base uh duration of 30 seconds in game time so uh that's four turns minimum unless you get hit right if you get hit then you wake up uh but you get uh, plus one second duration for every 50 mine and you lose one duration for or, uh, every 50 mine Actually, sorry, I should say that better in case it gets confusing So if you're using it against a boss you get plus one second for every 50 mine if it's being used against you you uh, Reduce the duration of sleep by one second for every 50 mine. That's what I mean by plus one minus one Sorry about that uh, the next is slow slow is kind of funny um sloga is pretty useless i mean it's not a good ability don't invest in sloga guys seriously it's not a good ability i mean it's viable in multiplayer raids because there you know you have eight characters instead of uh instead of five so you can have more abilities but during a if you're doing boss battles by your own like seriously don't bring sloga it's a really bad ability temple flare on the other hand it's a great ability it slows uh and the duration for slow is 20 seconds uh base and then you get plus one duration on it for every 20k mind which is ridiculous like the slow and and the thing is, there's no reduction for this. When you get hit with a slow, you're going to take the slow, um, the full duration of it. Like, no matter how, how much mind you have, mind doesn't reduce the duration of slow. But, yeah, uh, pretty much slow is at, at a default 20 seconds because uh, it's impossible to have 20k mind. I mean, I don't know what... It, like it could be possible in the future i mean who knows right like i don't know what the jp version has in store for us but as of right now and probably forever the rest for the rest of the game it's pretty much impossible to increase the duration of slow by even one second okay so next we're gonna go with paralyze paralyze uh has a base uh of uh sorry has a base duration of 15 seconds in game time which is two turns same duration as a breakdown ability and then you get uh, plus one duration when using it if you have for every 50 mind. And then if it's being used against you, you lose one second of, uh, sorry, if it's being used against you, the effectiveness is reduced by one second for every 50 mind. So not too bad. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit annoying. I mean, we all have, remember that recent event, the FF14 stupid dragon thing where he can like paralyze your whole party or something like that. Yeah, that can be annoying. But, you know, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, it doesn't last terribly long, unlike Blind or, or like, I don't know, uh, Silence or whatever. So, yeah. Um, next. Oh, wait. I thought I already talked. To, oh, yeah, I did talk. Wait, what is this? Sorry. Oh, Poison. Oh, sorry. I thought that was um, a Dark Buster again. Sorry. Yeah, Poison. Uh, it's indefinite. Uh nothing to say like it'll stay the whole fight um one thing i want to talk about is sap i don't have an ability that has sap 
but the sap lasts 40 seconds, which is pretty long. That's almost like five turns. Uh, but the dur but there's no way to increase or reduce the duration of sap. I mean, it's just a base 40. Um, I think I covered all the negative effects. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, confuse, right? I actually don't have a... Wait, do I have an ability that confuses? Um, I guess not. I guess I don't have ability that confuses. Mainly because confuse is a pretty useless ability to have. There are no bosses that are immune to, or that are uh, vulnerable to confuse, or else the fight would just be incredibly, incredibly easy. I could be wrong in the future where they're like, "Oh yeah, dungeon requirement confuse the boss." I could be wrong, but um, as of right now, confuse is pretty much irrelevant in terms of crafting. Uh, but if you do get confused, I'll let you know the duration on it anyways. It lasts 30 seconds, so that's about four turns. Uh, and then you can reduce the confusion by one second for every 40 mind. Uh, so that's something to know. Uh, I think I covered all of the uh, negative buffs in terms of their duration and how long they last, how much they reduce by, etc. So I'm going to stop this video for a second. I'm going to set up my party to show to talk about uh, the positive effects and how long they last. All right, so let's talk about the positive buffs in Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Uh, there aren't that many, not as many as the negative debuffs anyway. So let's talk about it real fast. Uh, th the second half of this video should not be as long as the first half. So the first thing I want to talk about is haste. Okay, so haste has a base uh, def. Sorry. Uh, so haste has a default time of 20 seconds uh, and if you want to raise uh, haste by one second you you can do that for every 40 mind um, so in this case for Ramza uh, I'll just let you guys know Ramza's attack buff lasts 25 seconds okay so uh, if you want your haste to uh, sync up with the attack buff you got to raise your mind to at least 200 so you uh, that way you'll get an extra five hundred so you'll get an extra five seconds on the haste uh, but it's better to stack just stack as much mind as you can because um, you know the more haste the better right the longer it lasts the better uh, typically a lot of people they put just put as much as they can and it easily goes over like 300 so that's about like seven seconds extra seven eight seconds extra of haste which is fantastic so uh yeah, if you're using Rams as your roaming warrior, put a lot of mind on him, please. It'll, it helps a lot more. Anyways, uh, so let's go over the next buff, which is uh, Protect and Shelga. Protectaga and Shelga. Now, both of these, their durations are exactly the same. They both have a base time of 35 seconds. Uh, uh, yeah, they both have a base duration sorry base duration of 35 seconds okay so uh without any mind at all uh, the duration if we're going with breakdown as like a gauge so 15 15 30 blah 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 right so that's about um four turns minimum okay uh but if you want to increase the duration you can with more mind stat you get an extra one second for every uh 33.3 .3 mind that you have so uh like i said the more mind you have the longer uh these buffs will last so the more mind you have the longer uh protectiga and shelga will last but just letting you know if you're using your protectiga shelga off of a character that isn't your white mage uh like let's say you're using red 13's lunatic high or something like that or or uh zaz's boon just let you know like you'll at least get a minimum of like four turns of protect and shell right uh you know and then depending how much mind you have you can see how much how much additional uh time you get on it you know remember for every 33.3 .3 mind you get an additional second of protect and haste okay so next i want to talk about uh, i'll talk about this in a second the next is reflect reflect is the same thing uh 35 second base and you get one second of extra reflect for every 33.3 .3 mind uh this one 
mm, Reflect really isn't that popular, especially with like runic abilities going around like Celeste's uh, Excalibur or I think it's Excalibur, her relic it's called, I don't know. And I know EX Death has runic has a runic ability as well. So Reflect really isn't that necessary, but you know, it can help in some situations. It's not a completely horrible ability, just not an ability that you would main on a team. Now, the last thing I want to talk about um, is Reflect. Oh, wait, sorry. What am I saying? Is um, Retaliate. So Retaliate, old school ability, uh, lasts two turns. It's the exact same duration as a Breakdown ability, so you have to recast it every other turn. This one, there's no way to increase the duration of it. Um, so you can stack as much mind as you want. It won't do anything. It's just like breakdown. The timer on it, the duration is set to 15 seconds. So about two turns in our time, I guess you can call it. And uh, the last, hold up. I think I'm, oh, 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 sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I forgot about regen. Sorry. Uh, let me, where? Now I don't have like Kirin or anymore. I like I I de I decrafted it, so we'll just take a look at Yuna, right? So uh, grants major regen, uh, major regen base base um, duration on regen is uh, 35 seconds, and you get an additional second of regen for every 33.3 mines. So it's the exact same as uh, reflect, shell, and protect. Okay, uh, low low and medium regen are a little bit different uh the they only last 30 seconds so about five seconds shorter not the biggest deal in the world and the uh, and then you get an extra additional sorry and then you get additional uh time of regen for every 33.3 mind okay so that's it uh, i think i covered all of the positive buffs and how long they last etc um yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, do comment below, like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Please, I love comments and stuff. They're great. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.